am Georgia from thehappyhensters.com and welcome back to the Hensters Kitchen. Today I am going to share with you all how I make the best creamy fluffy mashed potatoes. I am starting out with red potatoes. I use two medium sized red potatoes per person. I have washed these well and now I'm just going to dice them into a uniform sizes and I'm placing them in my pot that's filled with cold water. Now that I have all my potatoes in here, I'm just gonna give them a, a little wiggle. We're rinsing off the excess starch, which is gonna allow our mashed potatoes to just be fluffy and creamy and delicious. Now I'm gonna drain this and put fresh cold water to cover the potatoes. Now that we have our fresh water, I'm gonna add in a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt and one peeled and smashed clove of garlic. I'm gonna put my lid partially on and put this over high heat on the stove top until it comes to a good rolling boil. And then I'll back off my heat just a little bit just so it doesn't boil over. And we're gonna let this cook until my potatoes are nice and tender. I cooked my potatoes for about 15 minutes until they were fork tender and drained them well. And now I am adding in two tablespoons of butter. About one tablespoon of cream cheese. Half of a teaspoon of kosher salt and black pepper to taste. I'm gonna put my lid back on and just let this sit for a minute or so until the butter and the cream cheese are nice and soft. Ooh, yummy. So I'm just transferring that right into my mixing bowl. I'm gonna start with one half cup of milk and then we'll add more as needed. We'll put that on our stand mixer. We'll start it on low so we don't end up wearing it. it starts coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape down my sides. And now we're gonna take it up a little bit more. I like to do my Mixer just on short bursts, because I don't want to turn this into glue. I just want it to be nice and airy, light and fluffy, but I don't want to over mash my potatoes. Let's take a little taste, see what we're doing on our seasoning. I'm going to go in with another half teaspoon of salt, some more black pepper, and about another quarter of a cup of milk. Taste test. I want a little bit more salt. And then about one teaspoon, well, cereal spoon of sour cream. Holy smokes, there we are. I'm gonna transfer this over to my bowl and it's ready to serve. You all are gonna love these potatoes. They are so creamy and flavorful. Nobody's gonna know the tricks that you used, but everybody's gonna want your recipe. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.